Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am here with Steve Boykin. He is the handyman. Honey, honey, honey do, do handyman. Honey do handyman. So if you're anywhere in the Los Angeles area and you need a handyman, I will put his contact info down in the description. But we're going to do a, an acrylic pour today. And he saw the turkey pour and wanted to try that and was just excited by that. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, there's his card. I don't know if you all can see that, but we'll put it in the description. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill your cup up a little over halfway. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. Mm -hmm. So we need about six ounces of paint or so. You can use any colors you want. Here's a white. Here's my white. Um, yeah. And you're gonna just layer the colors little by little. Now it is October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I am going wow. all pinks over here. But wow. Steve, he's gonna do one for his wifey. So he's okay. gonna use colors he thinks that she will like. Oh, she likes purple test, too. I just right? remembered. Um, mm. Yeah. It's easier if you just unscrew the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just goes a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one's on there really good. I'm just going to okay. squeeze it. <laughs> so I'm just using red, white, and pink, basically. And mine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. just unscrew it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take Ooh, wow. <laughs> it's also better to unscrew them just because otherwise uh, you can get extra air bubbles in there that you may not want. That's black then, if you want. Oh yeah, I do black. want a little bit more of that. Yeah, you do. Okay. And you don't have to use any color you don't want to. <laughs> I don't know, just having fun, just playing. But also black and yellow make green, so. They do? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Can a little black goes anymore? a long way. Maybe throw just a little more white in there. And then a little more white. Good. Where'd it go? There you go? It's right there. Yeah. It's already looking cool just in the cup. Oh, I know, right? Cool. <laughs> All right. Just that design alone looks awesome. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your hand down. I'm right-handed, so I pour with my right. Otherwise, it'd just okay. go all over the place. Put it kind of centered. Okay. And then it's a really weird sensation. Is just it? to warn you, you're going to just kind of pour over your hands. Ew, it is weird. I know, right? Oh, oh my it god. It feels like cold and kind of creepy. I agree. Whoa. I think I'm sure I used too much paint, but that's okay. <laughs> Look at your massive hand compared to mine. That's I know. awesome. I know. Oh, yeah. You're very pink. Yes. Very pink. Wow. And look at my cool. cool cells on my glove. All right. <laughs> So there's no real rules after this. You kind of just pull your glove up. I try to pull it straight up, so you wow. kind of maintain. It's almost that. like it'd be cool to keep the glove too. I know. You could. I haven't look figured at that glove. out how to do that yet. Here, look at that. I'll show everybody. That is awesome. Go like that. Yeah. Whoa! Well, <laughs> check out that glove. Like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now you're just gonna tilt. Tilt. Your canvas to your Whoa. heart's content. Um, do not be afraid to run off paint, but oh, don't yeah? run too much off in one specific direction. Okay. Just kind of spread it fairly evenly. This is super duper pink. It's true. I'm definitely glad I put that red in there because that gives it a little, <laughs> little contrast. Wow. But there you go. And if you have done any uh, breast cancer awareness pours for this month, let me know down in the comments. I would love to check them out. All right, that's looking wow, awesome, Steve. Wow, this is coming together. Yeah. It's looking pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> newer people tend to tilt slower, I think. Okay. <laughs> Getting the feel for it. Yeah, you're doing great. It looks awesome. That it purple does. is perfect in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that purple. Yeah. And you got your green. Yeah, I did. Okay. Coming Maybe around. One more, one more corner. <laughs> Cool. There we go. All right, Whoa. set it down. Whoa. And that now awesome. here's a trick. Take off your gloves slowly. Oh, wait a minute. I got a little corner over here that needs a little more. Okay. You can also always just tap if you don't want to. Yeah, because you probably don't want to move the whole thing again. Just, like, just uh, take a little paint it. and cover there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So, so take off your gloves slowly, not over your canvas. Oh, Otherwise, yeah, you're guaranteed your to whoosh, on your canvas. Okay. It, it's happened many times. Yeah, you've experienced that. Yeah. Cool. 
All right, so as far as your first acrylic pour goes, wow. how, how was it? What do you think? It was fun and it looks great. Yeah, super easy, right? Totally. Cool. And for anyone wondering, and also for you, all the paints are just regular acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and water. You get the Floetrol at Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. Um, I'll put the paint recipe down in the description as well, so check that out. Super easy technique, and if you are in the Los Angeles area and need any, you know... Mainly, like, we're based in Glendale, so Glendale, Burbank... Around eight miles yeah. around the Glendale area is the main area. Painting, drywall, carpentry, plumbing, repairs, maintenance, electrical, windows, doors, etc. Contact yeah. Steve. Contact info will be down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.